Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound. Welcome to this video in which I'm going to be going through what came in and went out of my nail polish collection during July and August. Here are my nail polish goals for the year. If you want to pause the video to read these you can or I have the introductory video if you want to look at it in more detail. But for now let's look at what came into my collection in July. Uh, the first one is my now one and only ice cream nails and it's called Hollow Attack. It's a lovely strong red holographic linear polish and this one was gifted to me by Nika of Nika's Naughty Nails. Here it is being applied to the swatch stick and it has a lovely formula. It does need two coats to become fully opaque um, but in two coats it is stunning. Next one that Nika gave me is Cirque Colors Spotted. This is a topper and now I've got three of these sorts of toppers so I might have to do a little bit of a comparison between them but for now it's staying in my collection. Next up is this one by Cuticula also from Nika and this is a sort of pinky purple with black shards and other glitters in it. It's quite unusual and from the appearance in the bottle I wasn't sure that I would like it. But when I swatched it, I did like it enough to want to keep it and try it on my nails. Um, I thought it looked a bit busy in the bottle, but on the swatch, not so bad. So I think quite a lot of those glitters and shards got stuck around the edge of the bottle. Then also from Nika, we have this CND, it's called Negligé. And this is just a sheer pink polish. It is actually a little bit streaky, or at least it was on the swatch stick. I had to build it up in three coats to get rid of that streakiness. We'll have to wait and see what it looks like on the nails, because um, the whole point of having a sheer polish is it still looks sheer. And the last one that Nika gave me was this fancy gloss called Evil Pumpkin. And we'll be coming back to this one later. And this is what it looked like swatched. So five polishes gifted to me, none purchased in July. These are the ones that were de-stashed or finished and I had five polishes leaving my collection from my de-stash of my red creme polishes. Moving on to the summary, so we have five polishes gifted and five de-stashed. So a no difference in the number of total polishes in my collection. Moving on to August. I made an A England polish purchase. I heard that they were going to be stopping making polish, which is really sad. Um, so I picked up a couple. The, the first one, I think you pronounce this Shamuel, and I picked this one up because I hoped that it might be a dupe for Peas Blossom a Fairy, which I absolutely love. But as you can see, it's quite a lot lighter than that. It does have, as usual with A England, a beautiful formula. I might have duped myself, I will have to go back and look at my other pinks, um, but it is a lovely polish and I'm not too mad at that. I also picked up this one called The Mist and this one looked so amazing in the swatch pictures on the website. Um, in the bottle, not so amazing. On the swatch deck, even less amazing. Here you can see in the bottle that you can get these other um, shifts in colour but I couldn't get them to show up on the swatch deck at all. So I'm just hoping that when I paint it on my nails it's going to look different. Um, but it was really sheer as well so it took three coats to build up. I might have to use undies for this one so overall a little bit disappointed. Then I had some gifts from Louise of Loopy Frog Nails. The first one was Akai Smoothie by Arda's Nails. This is very pretty indeed, a lovely strong pink shimmer in it. Um, it's a little bit similar to Toe Beans by Hollow Taco and Toe Beans was limited edition and is no longer available so this is close enough for me to consider it an almost dupe and a good replacement for toe beans if that ever runs out. Then we had another Arda's Nails. This one is called Birch and this is just the cut sort of colour that I really, really love. That sort of slightly purple, grey 
and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of use out of this one. And as usual with Arda's Nails Creme Polishes, it has a fantastic formula. Then last of all we have another Arda's Nails. This one was purchased by me. It's called Eastern Bluebird and it is the nail polish that's on my nails in this video. It's a thermal which is unusual for me but when I saw this one on the website I just had to get it. It has quite a good formula with two coats needed to become opaque. And this is what it looked like in two coats and this is in its cold state. And this is what it looks like in its warm state. This is the cold state on my nails. But when my nails were really hot, I didn't like the sort of orange that came through. So I've done a little bit of testing and if I apply this one over a pale greyed out blue base, it seems to cancel out the orange. Um, so that's how I'll be wearing this one in the future. five polishes coming into my collection in August. I did do quite well in my de-stashing and got rid of nine more of my red polishes and seven polishes from my orange, yellow and green creme categories. And that included the fancy gloss evil pumpkin that Nika gave to me which I realised I probably wouldn't wear. So in total, in August, I purchased three nail polishes. I was gifted two, but I got rid of 16, so that's 11 less nail polishes in my collection overall. So for the year so far, 37 nail polishes have come in, 83 have gone out, meaning I have 46 polishes less than I did at the beginning of the year. As for that budget, which I set at £300 for the year, I didn't spend anything in July, all the polishes were gifted to me. I spent £20 in August, meaning I have got just £33.22 left for the rest of the year. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!